Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to do a VLOOKUP using only keyboard shortcuts. And so by the end of this video, you'll be able to do a VLOOKUP without touching your mouse, and you'll be able to complete one of Excel's most powerful formulas extremely fast. Um, so let's get started. To start, we can type the equal sign. You can also start by touching, typing the plus sign. Um, and start typing the word VLOOKUP, and you can see that Excel auto-populates that formula when you've typed enough letters. Um, and just to, to complete the formula without typing anymore, just press tab, and that will auto-complete that formula and you don't have to type anymore. Um, and the first thing that an Excel VLOOKUP is looking for is a lookup value. So I'm going to use the arrow key, I'm going to do the left arrow key over to look at that lookup value, um, and then press comma. And then the next thing that the VLOOKUP is looking for is a table array. And a table array is the data or the, the, the area of cells that you're using to look up this value. So I'm going to use the left arrow key to pan over there. And then I'm going to use control shift and the arrow keys to quickly highlight my table array. So control shift right and down quickly highlights that table array. And then F4 locks that table array in place, and we'll see how that benefits you um, in subsequent steps. And if you've learned something already, or if you think you're going to learn something later in this video, click the subscribe button so you can stay in touch and see other shortcut videos uh, on my channel. So the next thing that VLOOKUP is looking for is the column index number. I can see here that the column index number is the fourth column in the table array, so I'm going to type four. And then the range lookup is whether you want an exact match or not. I type zero, that's an exact match. So I'm going to close the parentheses, and I'm going to press enter, and there's your VLOOKUP in action. So let's do that one more time, much more quickly, so you can see how fast keyboard shortcuts let you get with the lookup. So equals the lookup, here's the value. I'm going to jump over to the table array, I'm going to lock it in place, fourth, zero. And the last step is because you lock that table array, you can actually shift, you can press shift and the down arrows to highlight cells below, and control D is going to drag that formula down for you. And because we locked it in place, you can see that the table array doesn't change as you drag it down. Thanks so much for tuning into this video. If you want to see more tips and tricks, head on over to howtoanalysts.com for more content.